Hello gamers, and welcome to Portal 64, your gateway to the gaming world. I am Davidov64, your host, and today I'm going to talk about the Nintendo E3 announcements and what I think stood out from them today. Super Mario 3D World is the follow-up to the 3D Land on the 3DS. You can now play as four different characters, Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Toad. Each character will have its own different advantage and style to it, like Toad could run fastest and Peach could levitate. This gives players different, many different styles to play with or to experiment with, or if you want to play as your favorite character, like I will be playing as Luigi the most because Luigi's my favorite character. There's also the new cat costume where you can launch as enemies as a cat and climb up walls like cats do. And then also the flagpole, you could get the one up by just climbing up the flagpole as the cat and get the one up each time. There's also new puzzles and of course it's in 3D since it says 3D world. And there's new enemies in it. You could also pick up your enemies again and chuck them like you could in the NES Super Mario Bros. 2. It looks like great fun. Can't wait to play another great Mario title on my 3DS. While I'm still on the topic of the 3DS, Pokemon X and Y have been announced with a new region and new Pokemon. And of course with every new gen of Pokemon, new things have been brought to the gameplay to make things different. While Pokemon will now come in groups instead of one at a time to make things more realistic, and there was a really unexpected fairy type announced, which is supposed to even the, the playing field by making it super effective against dragon type, which I thought was kind of weird because I thought dragon type was supposed to be stronger, make it kind of more cool because dragons are usually looked at as more higher up at people, well, creatures, and, but for all those Charizard haters out there, your Dragonites and Salamances will not be taken down by a flippin' Jigglypuff, while Charizard could still take on Jigglypuff with no problem, so in your faces, Charizard haters, for him not being a dragon type. Uh, there's also the new Pokemon MA, which changes the way how you interact with your Pokemon, makes them seem more like pets than just creatures you use for the battle, you could pet them, feed them. Then it also takes advantage of the 3DS camera, and you could like imitate it, like if your Pokemon twisted its head, you could twist your head or make it the same face as your Pokemon, you know, just to make it more happy. So that's another interesting mode it has. I'm really more excited for Pokemon X and Y than I was for the Black and White, Black and White 2, because this seems to be more going towards the origin of how Pokemon works as far as the style of the creatures are, and just gives more the Pokemon feel than the other two did. So I look forward to it, it's coming out this October, so keep your eye out for it. Mario Kart 8 has really surprised me with how things are being done with it. The first thing I noticed right off the bat is the graphics looked amazing. I never thought I would be like, holy cow, the graphics in Mario Kart 8 look so good. Because Mario Kart's never known for its graphics, it's mostly known for its fun gameplay and creativity. And that creativity is also being taken to a whole new level with their new uh, anti-gravity carts and you could the maps are done completely different. I think this is going to be a fun, interesting way to do racing. They also got the gliders and the submarine stuff from Mario Kart 7, which will be fun to see. They also got a few new vehicles that showed quite a bit the vehicle Luigi was driving, which seemed to be different. And along with those new vehicles, I hope to see maybe one or two new characters and maybe even the new item. That would be really cool. But overall, I was surprised and this Mario Kart trailer really exceeded my expectations to see what would be in the next Mario Kart. Okay, last but not least, a new Super Smash Bros. has been announced, not only for Wii U, but also for 3DS. I'm really excited to see it on the 3DS, because the 3DS could definitely handle the graphics, at, but also, it's going to be in 3D, and Super Smash Bros. is just the perfect game for 3D. It has all the explosions, people flying at the screen. It, there's going to be so much that's going to pop out. And another thing I'm really excited for is Mega Man. Mega Man will be a total great fit into the puzzle, but I'm really curious to see how it, it showed him using a whole bunch of different moves from different bosses, like in the original Mega Man game, once you beat a boss, you could also use his powers. But 
I kind of wonder how that's gonna work if, like, at the beginning of each match, it does, like, a little jackpot thing and Mega Man could do a certain move during the certain match, like, for one match he's doing the Eruption Man and another match he's doing Guts Man moves. I don't know, that'll be interesting to see. I was really surprised to see the Villager from Animal Crossing. I was surprised to see Olimar for, for Brawl, so I was really surprised to see the Villager. The Villager just seemed like a nice, innocent character just collecting butterflies and cutting down trees in his game, but apparently now he's gonna be smashing people with pots and whatnot, and smashing them with trees and all that stuff in Super Smash Brothers. And then the Wii Fit Trainer is quite interesting. It didn't really show her fighting much as much as it showed her doing yoga on the field. It showed her final smash, which it showed doing damage, but I want to see her actually fighting, not having other people copy her yoga moves unless that somehow does damage to them, like, oh no, Mario can't do the splits, oh, five damage to him, I don't know. But I'm really excited to see it come out, and I'm glad to see how it's coming out for not only the Wii U, but for the 3DS, it reaches a wider range audience for those who don't have one or the other. And also, I would like to see if the, if the Wii U and the 3DS could connect for multiplayer. That would be really interesting to see if there's a possibility in doing that. That would be really fun. Because I don't have a Wii U, but I have a 3DS. And if my friend had a Wii U and we wanted to play, and I'm used to the 3DS controls and he's used to the Wii U controls, then neither one of us would have to sacrifice giving up controls we're, not, we're used to. So... I would be really happy to see some of that, but more stuff will be announced to it when it comes closer to the announcement date, so I'll keep in tune for that. Something that I'm really happy Nintendo have, and that's a great third party support, is show that Wii U will be getting Assassin's Creed 4, uh, Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell, along with uh, Batman Arkham Origins and many other third-party support. Nintendo usually doesn't get a lot of third-party support. A lot of their best games on like the Wii and GameCube were, was done by Nintendo themselves, but I'm happy to see there's a lot of other games. Also, Watch Dogs, that will be coming out on Wii U. I think that would be a really great game that could take advantage of all the Wii U controls. and. I'm just really happy and excited to see there's a lot of third party looking into the Wii U and can see what extent they could put it with all of the wide variations of different gameplay that the Wii U could do. So I'm excited to see that and next year hopefully we could see even more third party support and just kind of have Wii U considered more as the core gamer stuff because I know it's usually PlayStation or Xbox but it seems like the Wii U is also climbing up there as as more uh, third-party support seems to be coming for it so I would like to see how this goes for the Wii U alright guys thank you for watching if you really like the show you can subscribe like it even share it with your friends on Facebook or other media sources also let other people know about the show also I want to ask you guys what are you most excited for to see come out for the Wii U or the 3DS and keep in touch for new videos that will be coming soon I'm DavidOff64 and I'll see you guys next time